Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today we're looking at Final Cut Pro. Uh, we've been working with the basics of editing, building a sequence, importing clips, and today we're looking at using titles. Um, titles, unlike iMovie, uh, you don't have a lot of uh, previews in this version of Final Cut, so we're, uh, we're going to go ahead and show you a trial by error method of uh, putting those in. Uh, to begin with, I've got my sequence down below. I've got my clips all lined up, and I want to start getting some clips in here for the uh, the titles. And I'm going to build my own layer on the video tracks for the titling so I can keep track of where they are and time them out. So to begin with, um, in the middle section here, underneath your viewer, you've got the option for, you can see the A text on the little film strip here. That's your title option. So now I can come in here. And they don't call them titles, they call them text. You've got a couple different options that are in here. First off, if you weren't looking for titles, if you wanted to drop mats on here to make the coloring different or add different effects, um, you can do that here. Um, this is where you could add in textures. This is how you can render it with different features so that it has different, uh, different looks to it. Um, that would be like towards the very end once you've got your sequence pretty well put together and you go back and you start to basically add in the special effects. For today, we're just looking at the text. We're going to start off simple. So I'm looking at my text here, and I'm just going to click on text. That's going to bring up a sample text in the viewer. And if I want to change that to look at it, and we're looking at the sample text. Within the sample text, I'm going to go ahead and type something in here. I'm working on the uh, Evan Riley band and their song, Life Dance. That's what this is. And we get that typed in there. And if we want to, we can go ahead and just put that in as is, and then we'll make our changes once we can see them. The reason I say that is you can choose different fonts, but in here it doesn't really give you a preview of what the different fonts look like, and that makes it a little bit more challenging. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop this video in here. There it is. And we go ahead and drag that down into our new layer here. And I've got that in. So now I can mouse through here. And uh, let me go ahead and mute the audio so we don't hear that every time I scrub over it. And there it is, sitting dead center in the middle. Now, eventually I'm going to obviously want to make some changes in the location, the font, the coloring. Um, let's go ahead with how you can change the location to begin with. Um, I can double click on my text clip. And that brings it up on the canvas here. Now, if you don't have these lines with the crisscross on here, up here, you can choose how you want to see this. You can, you may be on the image mode, which has no lines. You can go image plus wireframe, or you could just go the wireframe. Image plus wireframe gives you both, and it makes it a little bit more maneuverable. So now, after double-clicking on my clip for my text, I can grab that, and I can move it to a new location here. Now, right now, the text is centered. I might want to change that so that it's aligned to the left side here um, so that it butts up against the left, uh, left hand side of the screen nicely. If I want to make any changes, easy way to do that is I go back to the Controls tab, and I can highlight my text, and I can begin to make changes like with the font. So let's say this is a new font that I just picked up that's kind of goofy. It wouldn't really fit this song, but it's kind of fun to see. I can change the size here by dragging the uh, size tracker. Okay, I can change the style so that it's bold. And, of course, I can change the coloring of all of this. So let's say we go with a uh, kind of a darker maroonish color. And we go with that. There we go. Now, there's a few other options that are on here. you got your tracking, which will spread the lettering out. So if you want to space it out across the screen, you can do that. Or you can scrunch it together, whichever way you want to go with that. So, um, and then we've got some other things like the aspect and that, which is going to further move the text around for you. Now, after doing all those arrangements here, I move this again. Let's go ahead and get my alignment set up to the left side. Okay, and now I piece that over here, and it's lined up nicely on the left margin, and I've just manipulated my first text in here. Okay. Now, obviously, uh, I don't want the text to last for like 10 seconds up there. I want that to just come up for a while. So just like any other clip, I can go ahead and drag this to wherever I need it to be and shrink that down. Okay. So now for the first five seconds, I've got that in there. And I can see with that clip that it goes to right here that my maroon text down in that area probably is not a good idea. However, if I move it up here... Maybe that's a better placement. Okay, And I go back, 
and that works out pretty well with all those clips there. Okay, I'd probably take the tracking down a bit. You get the idea. Now, a lot of m music videos, which is what we're working with, incorporate a lot of text, keywords, phrases, um, different things like that. They are kind of combining the idea of a music video and a lyric video all into one now these days. So I would advise or um, express my uh, interest in you experimenting with text here, adding more of it into your sequence and finding key moments that you can thematically put it in there. So that's our tutorial for today with text in Final Cut Pro. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again.